Lucas! Paisanos, and welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at one of the many Japan only games based on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind by Capcom. It was released in 2002 and was originally intended to be released in the West, but that was eventually cancelled. The most likely reason being the many music references in the game that the writers refused to change for copyright reasons. Just some of those references being characters literally named Green Day, Spice Girl, Oasis, and Notorious B.I.G. Did I mention that the original manga was written in the 90s? The plot of Golden Wind centers around the illegitimate son of series villain, Dio Brando, named Giorno Giovanna, and his exploits in the world of the Italian Mafia. He wants to become a mob boss so that he can make life better for the people of Naples. So he joins the criminal organization known as Passion and is assigned to one of their subgroups led by Bruno Bucciarati. Bruno and the other members of the group are at first unsure of Giorno, but when they're witness to his courage and compassion, they decide to go along with his plan to take over Passion and turn it into a force for good. Kind of like a Robin Hood and his band of merry men type thing. This of course puts Giorno and his friends against a legion of mobsters and assassins with all kinds of crazy powers. It's hard to really pinpoint the genre of Golden Wind. It's more or less a beat em up except instead of having a bunch of enemies to defeat in each stage, you're only ever taking on one enemy at a time. But it's not really accurate to call it a fighting game either. The powers possessed by each enemy are so radically different that the parameters for victory are always changing. Sometimes you simply need to defeat your opponent the old fashioned way by beating the hell out of them, but sometimes that's not really an option and you just have to do your best to survive or even find your way out of the stage while your unbeatable enemy is chasing you down. <laughs> And that's pretty much the coolest thing about this game, the insane powers possessed by all the different characters. If you're at all familiar with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, then you should know that all of the characters have alternate personas attached to them called stands that grant them all kinds of crazy abilities. For instance, Giorno's stand not only has the ability to punch the shit out of people, but it can also make plants rapidly grow and even trap your opponents in them. My personal favorite character is a guy named Guido Mista, who fights using a revolver, and in that revolver are six living bullets that he can direct, called the Sex Pistols. Yet another musical reference. Of course, all of the bad guys have some super cool powers too, and these powers can make the game very frustrating at times. For instance, I was almost driven to madness by the level where you take on a character named the man in the mirror. As his name implies, he transports you to a mirror world where all of the controls are reversed and this definitely made my blood boil. Even worse than that is a stage where you're trying to escape from Oasis, a character that can turn any surface into a viscous liquid, thus greatly slowing you down. He can of course move freely through this liquid and at the same time his partner, Green Day, is filling the air with deadly fungus spores that start to harm you if you stop moving. While sometimes very frustrating, these differences from one stage to the next 
Definitely keep the game from ever feeling stale or repetitive. It's definitely very unique in the world of beat em ups, slash fighting games, slash whatever the hell this game is. Aside from the gameplay, I also really like the overall presentation in Golden Wind. The graphics are very nice with some excellent cell shading. People often draw parallels to Jet Set Radio, which I can understand, but with the emphasis on comic book style shading and the use of comic panels and speed lines, this visual style actually reminds me more of the Ultimate Spider-Man game, if anyone has ever played that. I really love the design of all the characters and environments. I've always really appreciated the unique look of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with its very cool and stylish character designs, even if they can tend to be a bit on the odd side. The sound design in Golden Wind is also really good, though I'll be the first to admit that the music is very subdued. Even when the action is picking up, the music remains really laid back and cool, kind of like the characters. Still, it is quite good. There's also voice acting throughout the entire game, and it's really good as well. And so are the sound effects, which come complete with some comic style onomatopoeias. Finally said that right. Overall, the great visual and sound design really do the awesome source material justice. <laughs> If you can deal with the sometimes infuriating difficulty in this game, I think you'll be more than happy with the overall product. Golden Wind is a very unique and cool gameplay experience, just as the comic series is a very unique and cool reading experience. I fully endorse them both. If you've never experienced JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, or you've only ever played the 2D Fighter, then this is a game I recommend without hesitation. Check it out, Paisanos. <laughs> あ、そうだ、すまない。忘れてた。3個か。甘いの3個欲しいのか。3。よし。うわ。3個やろう。行くぞ、せっこ。3個行くぞ。3。あ、あ、あ、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし、よし